Welcome guys, it's happy to have you on board. And if it's your first time, consider subscribing. There's great content on the way. And hit the bell notification so that you don't miss anything. JavaScript is everywhere. From its birthplace in the Netscape browser in the mid-90s, it's made its way into all modern web browsers. Onto mobile phones, into desktop application, into electronics, and is now being used to make full-fledged web application on the server side. In this course, we will be going to take a look at JavaScript on the server side, specifically JavaScript and the Node.js environment. This video will be broken down into two video series for better ease of understanding. JavaScript hasn't always been one of my favorite programming languages, but over time it showed me some amazing things that has become my go-to for making modern, scalable web applications. And all thanks to Node.js. Let's take a look at some of the really exciting examples of what you can do with Node.js. Node.js is great for building chat application. In chat application, number of Needspace, modern browsers can have access to the camera. Needspace takes a video of you when you send your message. The video is sent along with your text, adding a level of personality with every message. You can play Game Boy games with any number of people online. You're all trying to play at the same exact time. It's fun and it's frustrating at the same time. Node.js is great for these types of real-time application with lots of connection, sending information simultaneously. Secure isn't only for fun experiences, but can also be used for creating productive tools. Cloud9 is an online development environment which allow you to code in your browser with a Linux computer. All your code is stored securely online and can be accessed from any computer. Code9 has now been taken over by Amazon.com. Talkie.io allows you to have a plug-in free group video chat with colleagues. Then there are the built tools like Grunt.js GURPJS and Webpack. While they aren't that exciting, they're extremely useful. These types of tools are used to concat your JavaScript files together, compile any SAS and minify the source code and many more things. Node can be used to build all sorts of application, from web application deployed on the internet to desktop and command line application that you can run on your local machine. Through this course, we'll be creating several command line application to get familiar with the Node.js platform. Each command line application will go to the web, retrieve information and print out the information to the console. These applications are not only fun to build, but there'll be plenty of learning opportunities to show you the real power of Node.js and why you'd want to use it in your project. On the largest online sale day in America, Black Friday, Walmart used to have a lot of technical issues. They found when they moved their mobile API to Node.js, they were able to serve all their customers with their services, barely having a sweat. Internet payment service PayPal now serves over 80% of its web traffic using Node.js. Like Walmart and PayPal, many companies like LinkedIn, Netflix, Microsoft, and Uber are migrating core parts of their infrastructure to Node.js. So, it's never been a better time to learn Node.js. So, so, hit me up down in the comment section below and tell me what drove you to learn Node.js. When getting acquainted with any new technology, it's customary to create a Hello World application. Let's install Node.js on a local machine first. In order to do that, let's head over to nodejs.org. There, we can see the download section. In that, it says recommended for most users and the current or the latest features. What I recommend you to download is the current or the latest features. At the time of recording this video, the current or the latest feature is version 9.4.0. So just click on it and it will redirect you to the download section or it will download directly local machine and the download will begin directly. Once that's done, just open up 
the executable file with admin privileges then follow the prompt as you see on your screen and it's an easy install just click the next a couple number of times and you're done with it now node.js is installed on your computer you would have no doubts or no errors while installing node.js because it's as simple as installing any application that you download from browser installation procedure is the same for linux and mac users as well so also included an installation guide for mac os windows and linux in the description below the reason we got the terminal open here is because node.js is a terminal based application to make sure you have got node.js up and running type node then space dash v hit return and you should see the current version of node.js running now don't worry if your number is different it means you've got the most recent version of node.js running in your local development machine you can still follow along node.js is like javascript is backward compatible anything you learn in this course will be good for new versions too new versions may have new feature performance improvements and security updates let's take a look at the file that we have here app. now i've called this app.js other people use a different convention some people use index.js or even main.js it really doesn't matter what you name the file because in order to run it you need to write out the file name to run the code in the app.js file type node then the file name that is app.js and hit enter and it will run the file there is nothing there in the file right now so we have no output as expected well we can clear the console as well by typing clear or cls based on windows or mac or linux be sure hit enter and now we have got some fresh space to type into let's write our first node.js app we can use the console object and the log method to print the text be sure to include a semicolon at the end of your line for completeness save the file and let's head back over to the terminal we can press the up arrow key to the terminal and go back to the previous commands we have run press it once and it takes you to the last command clear up again and we see the node app.js hit enter and it says hello world that is a first node.js application there's another two helpful methods on the console object save the there's error and dir the error method is idle for logging out error messages then we have the dir method when passing a json object it will print out the values and the key in the human readable format the dir function is great for inspecting object and seeing what values they contain save the file and move on to the terminal hit the up arrow and run the app.js you can see hello world oops so something went wrong and that an object is printed out in human legible format node also allow you to experiment with javascript in the terminal type node without any file name and hit enter to so will bring up an interactive javascript console a console like this is known as a read evaluate print loop or repl as it reads your code that you enter it evaluates it or runs it and then prints it out so i can type 1 plus 2 and the console reads and interprets my code and evaluates it to 3 and prints it out it can even set variables it can set a constant name to equals code big and when i type name code big is returned and you'll see no chase in action in two scenarios first you saw that you can write programs and then run it with a node command and then the file name containing the javascript code second you can play around with the node in the read eval print loop 
when you interactively type JavaScript code and see what the result are, to exit the RAPL, you can press Ctrl D once or Ctrl C twice. Done is quite novel. You have created a JavaScript program outside of the browser. You have written your first Node.js application. Writing an application in Node.js is writing a JavaScript application but outside of the browser. So let's move on then. Now you have seen a simple example of a JavaScript program running outside the browser. Let's go into a little more detail about what's available to you and what's not when writing applications like this. As developers, we use the JavaScript programming language that's interpreted and executed by the browser's engine against browser-specific API like the DOM or the Document Object Model. When thinking about a JavaScript program in the browser, you can split it up into two distinct parts. First, Native Object. These are the objects provided by the JavaScript programming language. Objects like string, array, date, math, and many more. You can use these in any environment, not just in the browser. Secondly, host object. These are the objects provided by the environment. In the case of the browser, it's things like window, document, history, XML, HTTP request, HTTP request, and many more. As JavaScript becomes more in demand, the performance of JavaScript engines became more important. JavaScript started becoming a more viable option to build not just browser application but all types of application. Chrome, Google's internet browser, began dominating the performance benchmark. With its JavaScript engine, V8, going open source, it became the perfect environment for something new to appear something to write any type of general purpose application in JavaScript and that was Node.js. Ryan ripped Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine out of the browser leaving all the browser's host object behind and provided a new ones to allow the new type of applications to be written. Objects like HTTP, HTTPS, FS, for file system, URL, OS, and much. The coupling V8 engine with the API is known as Node.js or the Node.js environment. JavaScript applications are now free to run, stand alone on a personal computer or even the internet running on a server. The key to writing any JavaScript application is knowing what's available to you. The native object should be available to you no matter what the environment. They are both in the browser and in Node.js. However, in each environment, you'll have access to a particular host object, which can be completely different. Looking back, we've come a long way. Thanks for following along the video. I hope you have a basic understanding of Node and its environment and how it all began. You could always show your support by liking the video, sharing or subscribing and by heading over to patreon.com forward slash codebig. You can find the link to this in the description below. Still have any doubts, you can always ask us out on Cobra or on our Team Codebig subreddit. Thank you guys, hope you had a nice day. Keep coding big, keep having fun and see you in the next video.